fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 18th of May 2025. I hope you are keeping well. I'm up pretty early and uh, was ready to play the Observer, which hasn't appeared again, but uh, did appear last week after uh, an absence of a couple of weeks. So I'm not really sure uh, since the Observer has been taken over by Tortoise Media. I don't really know whether the sudoku puzzle is going to be a regular thing or not and if it is is it going to arrive when it's going to arrive what time it's going to arrive so with that in mind in lieu i've decided to play the uh expert level game from the uh, el pais publication instead because that's always there nice and early a regular thing and i haven't played it for a while because i haven't had a chance to even get out more than two games most of this uh for the last uh, few few days. Well, I did get out three yesterday. That was okay. But um, I was pretty busy on Thursday, Friday. So anyway, let's uh, see what else is going on in the world. It must be a pretty unusual situation if two helicopters collide and it's not in a war or war type uh, air practice or something like that. Uh, but apparently in Finland, a couple of helicopters have collided and unfortunately five people are pronounced dead. Uh, the helicopters were registered as being from Estonia and uh, apparently on their way to a hobby aviation event. So I have no idea if these people were kind of professional pilots. And when I say not professional, I don't mean I'm not impugning their skills. I just mean I don't know if they were, you know, permanently. It's their full time job um, as pilots or not. But anyway, flying a helicopter, obviously a very skilled thing uh, i couldn't even do it on a video game i don't think let alone in real life uh anyway sad news there from uh finland let's uh try our game of sudoku show i can hear the sound of cats meowing that's not me that's my no of course it's not me it's not my cat it's my neighbor's cat we should get on with our sudoku i can see something i can see how to begin gotta look at this bottom right hand corner because it's very busy isn't it so we've got two blocking across there, so we've got two up there, and then we're going to have two blocking this square, and two is blocking across there, which is going to give me the two there, and the two going up there and up there will give me the two there. That's the obvious way to start this puzzle, I think. Eight blocks these two squares, that's got to be an eight down there, and this is a seven. Seven blocks this square. We still need seven in this column. And the last number to place here, five, I think. Four blocks up there gives us four in the square there. Six blocks across there. There's a six. This would be a one. It's amazing how cats have a cry like babies like human babies i think it's specially designed to tug the heartstrings of human beings <laughs> and force them into taking care of them they're very clever very wily things are cats we have excuse me while i sit up, move around on the chair six blocking across and six blocking down that's going to give me a six and that square. Six and nine blocking down here. That's going to put six and nine over there and leave me with four here. And actually, one nine. F oh no, I'm wrong. I was going to say one nine four. We don't have. We do have a four there. One and nine. Sorry. So one and nine up there somewhere. Uh, three and seven is what we're looking for in other places. So that has to be a one nine. We got a three seven down there. Shall we walk 
around and see if we spot anything nice. Let's perambulate around the grid. Well, it's very unbalanced, isn't it? We've got all of this southeast stuff sorted out, but in the other places it looks pretty tough. Well, wow, I'm just so empty over here. I think I'm going to have to put in some pencil marks to get some pairs just very early on here. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to go anywhere. All right, let's do that. Put in the six and nine down here. Uh, and what else do we know? We've got ones in these squares over here. Ones up there. Ones somewhere across there. I should probably do this section up here, shouldn't I? Threes are there, uh, sixes are anywhere, and what was the other number? Um, eight are, is there, and this is five anywhere, seven in those squares, and nine in those squares there. Okay, let's sort it out. Um, all right, back to going in order. I have twos up there, I have twos over there, fours 
fours like this. Somewhere there. Six. Yeah, tough. All right, um, so I guess I've got the most candidates down at the bottom here. Let's do that. We've got three and seven missing. Got three and seven blocking down here, so three and seven still available in those squares there. Right, what's going on over here? Digit three blocks across there like that, so I can put in candidate three there. Uh, seven also blocks there, but we have an extra one blocking down there. And that is done. Uh, okay, one, two, three blocking across there. Do we know any more than that? I think not. Five this way. like this and nine across the middle one here three like this five like this Okay, we've got the whole middle section sorted out. A lot of candidates, of course. Uh, ah, there's 137. Look at that. 137. So immediately we can discard the 1 and the 3 there. But more importantly, we can get rid of the 1 up there because that will give us a 1 in that square. And that means we can get rid of these candidate 1s down there. Uh, anything else? Well, it also means that 7 is not allowed there. 7 blocks across there. 7 up there. So this will be a 7. And this can't be a 7. That has to be a 5. That's a 9 and that's a 7. 9 now uh, will be somewhere up there. But we'll look again for just in case there are any more pairs. We've got 8 across here and 8 up here, so that's going to be an 8. This has to be a 5. No 5s are needed there. No 5s are needed there. 8 across here gives us 
six in that square, three in that square, eight in that square. This has to be a two. And we've got a pair of twos up there. Uh, looks like we've got a pair of one and nine here now, so that has to be a four. Four blocking up there will give us four in that square, and it means that this can't be a four. Missing digit here is five, I think, and we've got five blocking across there, so that's our five. This will be the six. This is a six to finish the row down here six in that square and nine in that square and six blocking up here down there means that that will be a six and we can get rid of those candidates there a nine means that we can get rid of several nine candidates up there three blocks across here so we've now got a pair of threes there. in fact there's only one more digit here that's a four put the four in so left up here then is going to be five so we've got a pair of fives there which means that this has to be a nine so we've got two and five there we can get rid of that nine we can place an eight in this square here nine there one, three, seven, one, nine, three, eight, three, and one, three, so that's a nine. And this is not nine. Something's lacking here. That's a one. This is a four. That's not a four. Got to get rid of the eight there. Eight blocks down here. That gives me eight in that square. Get rid of the eight there. Right, it's all looking very manageable now, isn't it? I can actually see a unique rectangle as well. Uh, but I don't need it because this is the only seven available in this row. We can't have sevens there. Anyway, we've got seven in that row. This is going to be a seven. Uh, that's our seven. There's our five. Five up there. Two in there. Two, three, four. Three and four goes there. That's our... Expert level puzzle from El Pais for a Sunday morning. If the uh, observer does come on, I'll get it out for you at some point. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.